Hey guys, Dan coming at you with another short video. Uh, got a warranty in, usually doesn't happen, but uh, sometimes with a new gun, uh, John Wixon, who actually bought the John Wicks. Uh, Silver Ghost, well, we shot in the video, man, did great, no problems at all, but yet you got it home, all of a sudden, bolt was sticking. Weird, strange problem. I've seen it before, not often, but it's actually a simple problem. It was going into full auto. Bolt was sticking, wasn't returning back. Uh, which is weird, you know, bug you out, wonder what it was. Believe it or not, just an O-ring. Simple little O-ring, got a little something on it. Uh, put a little nick in it, then it, it, it O-ring heats up and gets hot and catches the barrel. And it just goes into auto fire. It's weird, I had a problem. Uh, another guy had the same exact problem. I can't figure out what it is, don't know what it is. Simple little thing, boom, pop out the O-ring, pop it in, bang, bang, no problem. But uh, just know, if you run across this problem, you're going into auto fire, change out your O-ring. That's oh, almost always going to be the problem. Otherwise, it can be your sear two or your spring. A weak spring, a uh, weak sear spring will do the same thing. It's just going to let the bolt go back and forth. It's not going to set it back on the sear if the sear's fucked up or if the bolt uh, spring is fucked up. So, all right, I uh, got it back together, popped it out. And first thing I know, as soon as I took it apart, you'll notice the bolt. It's tough. It's pulling it back and forth. It just feels like it's catching it like one point. That's no ring. So, took that out, put it together, little ultra, sick lube, ultra silk lube. Bang, 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 back and forth, no problem. So now, figure I'll do a CO2 test. Last time we did HPA, we'll test her out with some uh, 12 gram CO2, eight gram joules. I'm just gonna release the follower right now so I don't forget. Eye protection on. I'm gonna air her up. Hmm, didn't, didn't feel like it had a lot of CO2 in there, but we'll see, okay. All right, first shot. Three thirty-six. Three thirty-four. Three forty. Three twenty-six. Two sixty-six. Two seventy. Two thirty-four. 208 and that's it but that was eight rounds so with these you know they get you can get a lot of power out of the first couple rounds you can also set it down a little bit just like this to try and expand and get the most possible rounds see you saw like all, all the first ones were well mid three three hundreds which is great great for a lot of power and great for self-defense so there's two ways you can do it with these. You can turn your reg all the way up, quarterback, pull power. So the first couple are gonna be super powerful. And the other ones are gonna get more drop offs. Or you can set your reg down a little bit and try and get more evenly all through eight rounds. It's hard to get eight full rounds, but you'll get six. Six good, powerful rounds that'll stop anybody. So it takes a little adjustment back and forth, but you figure out that sweet point or you just keep it high. You want those first two, three shots to be super powerful. You can do it that way. But when you got a regulator, that's why I say, some guys are out there deleting regs. Don't delete your reg, ever. Always a bad idea. It's just a stupid way of trying to get past other problems. You know, keep your reg. It's a good thing to have. You design everything right, you won't have a problem anyway. But you want your reg because you want to be able to balance it out, tune it. Many things, and I've done the I've done the full testing on deleting the regs too, and I've seen no perk. You don't get higher power out of deleting the reg. You know, when you crank this all the way up and then quarter turn back, that's in it. You still get full power, same numbers. If you take the reg all the way out, you'll still get that same number, even a little lower. So there is no perk whatsoever to deleting your reg. Your PRV, yeah, you want to delete, but you never want to delete your reg. That's just, you know, it, 
some guns you want to do that maybe an M17 that has more problems when you get up to high power. Those, I recommend uh, deleting the regs on those. That's worth it because the M17's got a lot of other problems once you start getting up there. But for your M17 guys, great gun, great for the money, you can't beat it. You know, 375, whatever they're selling for now. You got full auto, not that you ever really need full auto. But I recommend those ones, don't get, try and get crazy high. In my experience, and you know, four or five years of working on those, the higher the power, the more the problems with the gun. Those I like around 45, 50 joules. Then they're good, they're stable, you won't have problems. You try and get over 50 and going higher up to 60, I just, I've seen nothing but problems when you get that high. But anyway, video's not about M17s, but while we're at it, there we go. But as the Silver Coast come in for warranty, sorry John, it happens, you know, but I take care of my warranties, you buy a gun, you can always send it back and get it serviced. But that was a real simple one, and he could have fixed it himself, and he offered, you know, real mechanically inclined guy, totally could have changed the O-ring. But a brand new gun, I'd, I'd rather have it back, take a look at it, make sure there's no major problems just besides an O-ring. But now we know it's just simple little rolling, no big deal. Went over the gun, the rest of the stuff is good. Re ultra silked it, so the Silver Ghost is back in hey business. Hey guys, I gotta keep testing the gun just to make sure, get at least another mag through it. And I figure, might as well jack it back up, see what the full numbers get with the same amount of rounds. That's what the tests are all about. All right. Eye protection. Follower. Make it through a video. We know more testing after this because I'm not taking the chance of forgetting the, the follower. Made through this one, that's good. Alright. First number. <laughs> Woohoo! 392. CO2, 12 gram, 8 gram jewels. 336. 304. 268. 232. Still shooting higher than a burner after all these shots. Just thought I'd throw that in there. 214. Still shooting higher than a burner after all those shots. 188. About the same as a burner right there. And that's all. That was the eight rounds. So eight shots through this, I a guess. Eight shots through this, then you get down to about a burn of power. You know, I know there's a lot of guys out there, you know, selling those burners and pushing them on people. Yeah, you can protect yourself with a burner. They're full of shit, just trying to make money. You know, uh, burners, they get 10 joules. You use uh, eight gram Grimberg joules. Brings it up to about 13. Uh, the average paintball shot, the guy, kids go to play paintball every day and shoot each other with 14 joules, four gram at like 280 FPS. That's what a paintball is and that's what they shoot at. And that's about 14 joules. They can crank it up to around 16. But they get shot on purpose, so. I don't understand how these people are talking about burners saying, yeah, burner's gonna stop him right dead in his tracks. Well, I'll just shoot him in the face or whatever. 10 joules. You shoot me in the face with 10 joules, I'm gonna beat the piss out of you with that burner. Cause you ain't gonna do much at 10 joules. Same as a paintball shot. You get shot in the face with a paintball gun? I've been shot in the face many times with paintballs. One stopping me. So, you know, I don't get it. I personally don't, I'm a dealer. I can, anyone can be a dealer. Burner takes anybody. But I don't believe in their product, so I, I don't sell them. The TCR, that one, we used to be a Timmin. That one you can get some good power at. The TMC or their Elite, whatever thing for 900 bucks, piece of junk. It's a paintball gun. You, know, you ain't getting more than like 25 joules out of it. Don't waste your fucking money. Uh, you know, the Tip Axe, the other one in Shell, used to be the Mission. That one, not bad either. You get some power out of that. But the rest of their guns, there's no power. Pay $400 for a crappy little, you know, thing that ain't gonna stop anybody, you know. Pepper balls, if anything, you throw them in there, but. At 10 joules half the time, pepper bolts aren't even gonna break when they hit the assailant. So, just telling you people, you know, I know the guys make a lot of money selling them, 
But uh, I, I can't bring myself. I don't give a fuck about the money, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to sell them. I could, but uh, I'm not going to lie to people and tell them, yeah, you're going to protect your family. What a fucking burn it. It's not going to happen. 10 jewels isn't going to stop anybody. I'm not saying you need 100 jewels. You know, it's a happy medium. Somewhere between 35 and 50 is really all you need. And the burn is nowhere near it. Nowhere near what you need. So, you know, you can carry it just for kicks, whatever. That's fine. But if you think it's going to protect you, buy something else. It ain't going to do it. All right, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.